we're gonna be taking all of our pets on a walk at the same exact time. This is gonna be crazy. I can't even find enough leashes so far. We have... We have... Um, a little thing, man. This guy can't think worth anything, man. He really stinks. I mean, she know how many animals he has. Oh. 17 pets. We have 17 pets. Right now, I've collected 12 leashes. We even have a leash for Murray Vegadino, the bearded dragon. One of the biggest issues that we have with walking all of our pets at the same time is some of them are predators and some of them are prey. Murray Vegadino, I guess, would be considered prey to, uh, let's say, the Bengal cats that yes, we have. We definitely. have three Bengal cats in the house. So Belly, this goes around his neck, so that's his wings. And then he's like a real dragon. So you're gonna hold it and I'm gonna put All his right. neck through you, that. Okay, you put his neck right through that? Yep. Just like okay. that? Yep. And then you tighten that a little bit. And this is hilarious. All right, so he has his leash on and I'm not sure if this is his favorite thing um, because he's in pretty much like self-defense mode right now. This is how Murray looks when he's in self-defense mode. He gets really, really flat and he puffs out his belly to make himself really, really large because that's bearded dragon's way of saying stay away. They make themselves look really, really big. And uh, that's what he's trying to do. He's not turning his beard black though. So he hasn't gotten to that level yet. When he gets really upset, he turns his beard black. So maybe he'll tolerate this. I don't know, let's see if he'll walk, Rory. Try to we'll see if he'll walk. Try to pull him a little bit. Just give him a little tug and see if he'll walk. Nope, he's not budging. <laughs> this is where the challenge is. We have eight chickens as pets. Our <laughs> chickens have never gone for a walk. I think where we should start is the easiest animals that have been on a leash. The dogs. Which is the dogs. So we'll get them on the leash Oh first. my gosh, the cats just stole the baloney. All right, right off the plate. You cannot just steal food off of plates. Naughty kitty. <laughs> All right, so Aspen definitely is not liking this whole leash situation. <laughs> Look at this. Aspen. So Jesse came up with this idea, and immediately I thought it would be hilarious. It's getting a little stressed out with having the lizard by the cats, and the cats by the lizard, and the cats eat the lizard. Our cats love to eat lizards. Murray probably looks like a fat, juicy steak to them. We have to keep them separated. Decided to just take our hand with the cats and see if they're even gonna cooperate. Oh, well, Pasquale's been on, on a leash before. So. But that was like way long okay, ago. There we okay. go. Okay, he's on there. Good, come on, boss. See if he'll walk. Don't attack me, okay? Uh, I don't on. think he's liking this idea. Come on. He does not want to walk. Come on, Pas. Pasquale, come on, buddy. Come on. We're gonna take you on a little walk. No, he doesn't like it. <laughs> we'll take him off. So obviously we want to make sure that our animals are the most comfortable. If an animal is not going to cooperate, we're not going to force them. I think the chickens are actually going to cooperate. I think they will. We got it on Theodora. Oh, Theo! And she just thinks it's a play toy. Look at her cool spots, you guys. These are our newest bangles. Let's see if she'll walk a little bit. Tug it. Oh wait, it's going to slide right off. Oh no, she got it off. We're going to see if Lumiere will like this. I don't think he will. Oh. He might yeah, be okay. okay. All right, let's get him on the ground and see if he'll walk. Cats typically do not like to be leash walked. Yeah, but and I've heard that Bengals can get leash trained. I think he just doesn't okay. want to be around Enzo. He doesn't want to be around the dogs, yeah. Okay, and, oh, and he's, oh, oh geez, it's working. it's working, kind of. He's, I think he's more or less trying to run away. <laughs> he just wants to be away from Enzo. Yeah, the cats and dogs do not like each other, guys. Surprise, surprise. All right, I would take it off. He's going nuts. Pasquale is like, get me out of here. I don't want any part of this. All right, buddy. I'm kind of glad that the cats are not cooperating. Now I don't have to worry about them being around Murray, and that gives me a sense of relief. Yeah, so far this is failing, but I think the most cooperative one has been Murray Vegadino. Well, he cooperates on everything, though. He just sits there. He's the best pet. Guys, hands down, if you want a pet that is gonna show you the love, and is gonna be the easiest pet you can take care of. Bearded dragon. It's a bearded dragon. If you have a full day job and you're like, 
I want a pet to be like my companion thing, you get a bearded dragon, which kind of sounds weird. But they hang out with you, they like to cuddle, yep. they only eat like every couple days, it's nice. Yeah, also the nice thing about uh, bearded dragons, and we've had a lot of animals, is they can go days without eating. So if you need to leave for a little bit, you know, they sometimes will just... Well, sometimes he roommates, it's called roommating for like months. Weeks. He'll sleep for and months. And get an adult one too. Get an adult the bearded dragon crying. that's already chilled out. Cause if you try to get a baby bearded dragon, wild. good luck with that, you might get <laughs> rid of it. Okay, so we're gonna get the dogs on next, but I want to talk about the chickens. Because each <laughs> one of them have their own unique personality. They do. So for example, Betty, she's Cray. She's uh, not gonna Afro, she's a brooder. Uh, the red ones are the nicest. The red ones are the nicest, the Rhode Island Reds, so that would be Redneck and... Tweakers. Tweakers. <laughs> and, and, uh... The other ones, I forget their names. Well, there's Cookie Swirl. Oh, Cookie Swirl and Afro. Yeah. And then the Golden Comets is what? I don't um, remember their names. What are their Frank names? Frank and Chickadoodle. Frank and Chickadoodle. Frank and Chickadoodle. <laughs> Can't forget Chickadoodle. Chickadoodle's the best. We'll definitely get... F Frank. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, not Frank. Redneck. Redneck is gonna walk. Redneck okay? is the sweetest. But Betty, on the other hand. Oh, Betty's uh, uh no, uh, no. And Freckle especially. Freckle, mm mm. Freckle's Freckle and crazy. Betty. We'll no. see. It's about to go down though. All right. Well, we gotta get the dogs under control. I'm getting all the leashes all together. Look at all these leashes we need for our chickens. <laughs> I have a challenge of the day. I've been trying to find ways to interact with you guys because we don't have our comments on right now. Hopefully we'll be getting those back soon. Um, we actually have a meeting with YouTube this week and maybe we'll get some answers. But the challenge of the day is if you have a pet, take a picture of yourself walking your pet and then go and post it on Instagram and tag me at Smelly Belly Mom. Go and at me. Tag at I Smelly wanna... Belly Dad too. No, only I me. See. No, only me. me too. No, only me. Me? I'm kidding. What? Yeah, you are. We wanna see. That is bullying. Hey, hey. That is bullying. Shh, shh. Quiet. Oh my goodness. Nellie, what were you eating? She's eating a stick or something weird. Okay, so we're getting Nellie all harnessed up. She's used to walks, so the dogs are pretty easy. They're used to uh, being on their leash and going on walks, but I mean, she still goes <laughs> a little crazy about it. A little crazy. Nellie. Look at her. But Nellie, be chill, dude. <laughs> Diesel Enzo, come on, boys. Typically our dogs roam free because we kind of live out in the country. We don't really take them on walks with their leash. Usually the only time they get on their leash is if they have to go to the vet or to like doggy daycare. So I'm pretty sure Diesel and Enzo are hiding right now because they probably assume that that's where they're going when we just want to take them on a nice walk. Penelope, it's okay. You're not going to the doctor. We're just going to go on a walk, okay? Nellie. Nellie. <laughs> We're gonna go for a walk with the chickens. Yeah, you wanna go for a walk with the chickens? Let's go, look at how excited he is. It is time for our animal leash check. All right, send out the first animal. Who do we got? We got Nelly, all right. Next up on a leash, who's it gonna be? Let's see who's next, who's next? Diesel. Oh, we got Dee-Wee, how you feeling, buddy? You feeling good, feeling spicy? All right, who do we got? Here we go. We got Betty Boy! He's coming! He's coming through! Who's on a leash? Murray! We got Murray Vegadino himself, the bearded dragon who became a real dragon. Alright, so we have some new animals on leashes that are gonna be coming out very, very shortly. Murray, you ready? You ready to see this? You ready to see this, buddy? All right, here they come. The animal that has been trained to be on the leash next is... It is... Tweakers! Chickadoodle! Chickadoodle is here, on a leash. Way to go, Chickadoodle. She's just learning how to leash walk, so it takes some time. Um, I know that uh, there's definitely some turkeys that can do this, so Chickadoodle's learning. <laughs> next up for a walk, to keep their health in great condition is... This one is, uh... Tweakers. No, Dad. Yes, that's Dad. Tweakers. That's not, Dad. That one is Frank. That's Frank? Yes. Oh my goodness, it is very hard to know all the names of your chicken. Our next animal up. Ooh. Who's it gonna be? It's Red 
Redneck. Redneck. Here comes Redneck. How you doing, Redneck? Redneck's one of our happiest chickens we have. He's so happy. The next one up on a leash is, what do we got? We have Tweakers. Tweakers, all right. She's loving her leash. Yeah, she actually really <laughs> likes her leash. She's really leash walking. It's time to get those chickens on a leash. They're gonna be leash trained chickens. Oh geez, that this is gonna be so weird. Just go for Betty. All right, Betty, you're up. That one's Betty. I, I'm just going for whichever one comes through the door. Okay. And it looks Ada, like Ada, go help grab it. You, Ada, you grab the chicken. There we go. Right in oh, the geez. leash. Oh, geez. Get in the leash. Come on. Come. They're running away from the leash. Right. Oh, no. You're going to have to get in there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, no. Oh. They like can, they can like, their tuck, necks. They can tuck their necks. <laughs> they have oh, no. skills. <laughs> I think what you guys need to do is. Oh. oh my gosh, they're slipping out. We're gonna have to put it like around their body. Here we go. You're gonna have to get it around like through their legs, honey. <laughs> it's not gonna work. They can make their neck go away. <laughs> they have no neck. Got her. Alright. <laughs> I got her. She this... can still walk just fine. Oh geez. She's got her wings. Okay. There okay. we go. She's doing good. She's doing good. Wait, go. they're running out. They're no, running get him, out. get him, get him. Oh no, Betty, Betty! Get Betty! Betty's Betty. loose! Oh no, I got it. I got it. Okay. Alright, go. Get this is a hot mess. All right, Ada's got one. Go behind the wings, Ada. Behind the wings, so you don't. It's have to hard. Go. No, Jayla, you let go of your chicken. Hold her. Get back. Here. Oh my god. This is a mess. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get all of them. Oh my god. All right, so Ada has one of the golden comets, and she doesn't seem to mind being walked at all. She's kind of just leisurely going around. Oh, she's leading the way. Ada, you're supposed to be in control. And the rest of the chickens have escaped to the woods. So now we're on a hunt. All right, Jesse has the skills. Come on, you can do it, babe. You can get her. I know you can. All right. All right. Nice and slow like, nice and gentle. All right, we got her. Comfortable. We have two chickies in here hiding. They've been brooding. Oh, there's three brooders. They're trying to protect the eggs. Oh my goodness, look at how much they puff up when you try to come in. All right, I don't know if we're gonna be getting these on a leash. They're trying to do their job right now. Well, we have been trying to round up these chickens, like, and they just keep escaping. They're smarter than you think. They keep escaping us. So I think we have four so far. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Maybe that's five or six. I don't even know. I lost count. I'm just, okay, the, I just, the, I'm sorry. The, tri the trick to leash a chicken <laughs> is to make sure that um, uh, it's behind leash. their wings yes. on their back so the, they don't have any cop feathers. And they don't get annoyed with it. But this is just, look at this ridiculousness. A chicken on a leash. Look at this. This is hilarious. This is just too much fun. And they don't even care. They just got used to it like right away. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, tweakers. As we thought, the Rhode Island Reds would be the would best. Would be the best, yep. And okay, they, now we gotta, they actually um, enjoy walking on it, it seems like. Next challenge of the day, thumbnail photo with all these. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, so I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and I am now covered in chicken poo. But we are gonna give all the animals treats for being so good and going on their walk so nice. So we have a nice pile of oyster shells and some banana treat for the chickens. And we're also gonna let them free roam since they were so good. We got hornworms for Murray. Yep, and he and didn't eat today, so I don't know if he'll eat, but we'll see. We'll see. But because the dogs, like a walk for them is a treat, we're not going to get, they can have they get a, they, they get, get a lot of treats. They get enough. All right, let's find them. Chickens! Look at, their, they're in our cornfield that we started growing. Oh, you guys were accidentally growing corn because we used to put their corn feed here. So that was not good. Now we have a cornfield growing and in our front yard. growing a banana tree. <laughs> there you go, baby. Oh. <laughs> There you go. They like fruit. Oh, yeah. They love fruits. This is actually my first time giving them this oyster shell, but I know they like it, so we'll see. I've heard that chickens like this. Come here, Betty. Come here, Betty. You lucked out today. Let's see if we can get all the chickens. Ready? We're going to see if we can get all the chickens to come. Chicken up! Chicken! Chicken up! Chicken Come on, little monsters! I think they like do not like me now because usually they would come. 
But I don't think they like the fact that we were trying to leash train them. Leash train them. Hands down, this was by far one of the top stressful activities in my life. It was really stressful trying to get pets on a leash when you're outnumbered, especially because we have 16 pet, 15 or 16 pets, something crazy like that. 16 pets. We don't need this many pets. So we are gonna let the chickies free roam as another extra special treat. Um, we do let them free roam sometimes, but sometimes they like to go in the neighbor's yard and make a mess. So we ended up upgrading their coop to give them more space. So that way they wouldn't be so cooped up. <laughs> like, like what I did there. But we're gonna get all of our pets in and safe. Uh, Murray, we gotta get him back in his cage before he gets eaten by something out here. So we are gonna say goodbye for now, not forever. We'll see you in the next one. Remember we post three days a week, Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays. Jayla and Ada post every week on their channel. It's just JJ and it's Ada. Follow us on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you're notified of when we post. And also that means you're a part of the hashtag pickle squad once you hit that notification bell. So we're gonna say goodbye for now. Did I say that already? All right, remember to eat your pickle skin.